Welcome to Pack Valham. If you don't know who Kevin McLeod is, then I'll tell you that he is the composer of a lot of royalty-free songs with the Creative Commons by Attribution license. If you're on the internet a lot, especially YouTube, you've most likely heard some of his songs. He's created a lot of them. Too many to count. And he's still making some today. Well, I don't know if about today specifically, but uh, he hasn't stopped making songs. He puts them on his website, Incompetech. I've mentioned Kevin McLeod and Incompetech before. I found some oddities in the website, and I listed them in this Google Doc. There is a link to the Google Doc in the description. It's that uh, tiny URL link. And credit was tiny u What? Did, oh! Wait. Oh yeah, I see in the description it says bit.ly. Or bit.ly. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, click the bit.ly link in the description to uh, go to this Google Doc. Okay. Let's look at each one. One. Icon for A to Z full list link to ISRC catalog. And competech.com slash music. <laughs> oh, make a noise. You know what? That's not the... That's okay, this is not the first time. And that's okay. Alright, there's incompetech.com slash music. Let's go here. Everything else is the same. Let's see, text full search, music.html, and then the icon, the same thing. And then view collections, that's uh, collections.php, and the icon, also the same. Uh, skip that now. I also sort of see catalog that says, I have to see to name, and then the icon the same. And then this text here, full list. There's full list. And then the icon here, ISRC, you can see that. You can click on these yourself later. Okay. Wake up. Okay. Two. Assorted rim shots has a zip file, therefore no preview. Okay, I'll bring that up. Okay, let's look here. Sort of rim shots. Listen now. You can see dot zip. That's not an audio file. A zip file takes different files and compresses them. Makes it take up less space on the computer and puts them together. And then the download. That's it. it downloads a zip file with the different. My rim shots on there, and there's no preview because the audio can't, the audio player cannot play a, a file that's not an audio file. All other songs, uh, let's um, use them like, like that, for example. There's an MP3 file, and then you can listen. And then all other songs that are all songs that are not a sort of rim shots as an MP3 file, which is an audio file, and there is a preview. Okay, what's next? Uh, three music for funeral home parts one to ten are on freepd.com, but part eleven is on Incompetech. FreePD.com is Kevin McLeod's other website where he collects all kinds of public domain music. Public domain means you don't need to attribute or ask for permission. You can use it commercially or non-commercially or whatever. Public domain means no copyright at all. Okay, let's go there and see. Here's FreePD. And there's, there's music for funeral home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we go over to Incompetech. 
search the music for View No Home, and there's only part 11. So, you can use the first 10 parts without having to attribute, but if you want to use part 11, you can purchase a non-attribution license, or you can attribute. Okay, what's next? Ah, uh, notification. Funeral. Let's see. The urban genre is out of alphabetical order. So, um, the urban genre is a newly created is a the newest genre he created on here. We put on here and just hasn't sorted it alphabetically. But and all the other genres are in alphabetical order. What's next? Five identical songs. Some of these have different classifications: hot rock versus sex rock and roll, rock hybrid versus cool hard facts, face off versus showdown, sleep in then versus transition one, world vice versus Freddy's menagerie. Let's look at um, all of these or listen to them. Listen to the similarities. Let's note uh, the fuels for hot rock. Intense, driving, aggressive. Okay, let's listen to it. I'll skip ahead. Okay. Sax rock and roll driving dark. Listen now. Identical. Even that key change. Okay. Sticking with the rock genre, we have Rock hybrid. Uh, the feels intense, driving, aggressive. Listen. Okay. Okay, cool hard facts has the same feels. Identical. Okay, what's next here? Uh, face off. And then shut down. Whoa, look at all of these fields. Okay, you can't see them yet. Driving, eerie, epic, intense, mysterious, suspenseful. Start thin and pulsing, you can hear that. Ends giant and brass filled. Is this making you dizzy? Nah. Okay, let's go to the next one. Which is Showdown. Okay, let's listen. Dark, unnerving, calming. Different feels. No difference. Okay, what's next? Um, sleep and then. Staying with the soundtrack genre. Uplifting, calming, epic. And then transition one. Relaxed, calming, uplifting. So, epic got changed to relaxed. Huh. One more. World Vice. Action grooving. Yeah, 
Yeah, apparently that's for a juggling competition. Okay. And... Freddy's Menagerie. Action, driving, grooving. <laughs> there might be other instances of at least two songs or just two songs sounding identical, but these are just uh, ones I found up. Okay, speaking of showdown, it says starts unnerving and is calming, but I think the opposite applies. Okay, let's go back to showdown. Starts unnerving and calming. Well, that's kind of calming. Does not make me feel unnerved. It's more calm. And over here, that's kind of not very calming, but that's unnerving. Okay. But that might be just opinion. And speaking of Sleeping Zen and Transition 1, Sleeping Zen is in the Transitions collection, while Transition 1 is in Wonders of Other Worlds. What? Boop. Okay. Transition 1. Is that in the Transitions collection? Uh, no, but Sleeping Zen is in there. Uh, I think it's third page, right? Uh, okay, second. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, yeah, it is on the third page. Sleep in then. I can't see. Collection 42, make sure I'm showing you that's the same collection. That's... That is 42. A song. Can either be only in one collection or it's not in a collection. Not all songs are in a collection, but no song is in more than one. And let's go to Wonders of Other Worlds. Sleep and then we saw that's in transition. But let's see. Uh, next page, I think. Yes. Here's transition one. Huh, weird. I don't know what I'm doing. Eight. Oh, I didn't say the numbers for some of them. Common themes. Mist, Anglo Zulu, Mystery Sting, Morocco Sting, Exotic Battle. Exotic Battle, Witch Hunt. Quinn's Songs, Trips It. Quinn's Song, First Night, Awkward Meeting. Pennsylvania Rose, Juniper. Pride, Rumination, Midnight Meeting, Noble Race, The Way Out, Overriding Concern. Pay attention to this. Ba 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 ba. What even mentions it? Mentions I think was Zulu on there. Okay. Wait. No hyphen on here. I typed hyphen. Okay. Okay, you're right. That was just right. It's not supposed to be hyphen. <laughs> Okay, and then the rest are stings, except for Exotic Battle. Uh, actually only two of the Mystery Sting, and then Morocco Sting, there's Morocco Sting, you can hear. And then Mystery Sting. I 
Exotic Battle is less obvious and I didn't know until one time I listened to Exotic Battle all the way through and then I recognized that uh, one part. I think around here? Maybe... Uh, uh, um. Oh, there it is! You hear that? Okay. Wait, this is not a real word. I'll add that to the personal dictionary. Uh, and blow, zoom. Add, do, okay. Um, okay, exotic battle and witch hunt. These are not really the same melodies. Hmm. The, um, exotic Battle, um, it's soundtrack and has an action feel. It's in Wonders of Other Worlds. Um, witch Hunt, genre, world, no action feel. It's in Film Scoring Moods, the action collection. Okay. Mm. Okay, we actually heard Exotic Battle, it started just percussive, percussive, and then it adds the brass that is playing um, a riff, and then like a slow, kind of slow melody, and there's an unnerving feel. Okay, um... Which witch am I using? The wrong witch. That's... There's Witch Hunt. This start... It also has a nerving feel. Starts percussive. You can hear. And then there's Brass playing a, a riff. And then a slow melody. Okay. Uh... Okay, listen. It's Quinn's song, the First Night. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Not this! Borrowed from Chopin. Okay, let's hear Quinn's song, A New Man. Same theme. <laughs> That's an oddity, but it's not on Incompetech. Um, let's see, that's a new man, it's a... Uh, the, the dance begins... Came <laughs> from Chopin. And then trips it. Uh, I listen to later in it, and um... Okay, listen. The chord progression is similar. Or the same. But you can kind of hear it. I can say later. You can hear that? Same. Uh, let's go back to Quinn's song, The First Night. You remember I said, not that? Well, now that. It says two themes, 7-4 time and then one from Chopin. 7-4 time, listen. Uh, uh, Okay, 
Okay. And then another horror song, Awkward Meeting. Okay, uh, kind of awkward. Okay. Seven four time. Okay. Uh. Uh. Um. Uh. Pennsylvania rose seems stolen from an older piece of mine. Uh-huh. Okay, here. That. And not that, though. What's this date? One, one, oh, seven. One 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 oh four. Okay, this is that older song. And also, not only was Pennsylvania Rose steal from the song Juniper, but Juniper stole. From Gustav Holst. <laughs> Wait. Gustav is the first name, right? Fact check. I don't normally type like that. I looked at the key that I typed in, but I don't usually type while holding English composer. Yeah, Gustav Holst. Okay, what's next? I have pride in uh, these uh, finding these details and detail and finding details in general. Play. Or is it rumination? Huh? Rumination or rumination? Hey, minute, did you hear that? Well, I can play it later. Not really perfect. Perf not perfectly the same, but close. Might go again here. You can hear the similarity, correct? Um, are the ones with worth checking? Room, um, Okay, it is... Rumination, okay. I was pronouncing it correctly. Um... Or I wasn't really pronouncing it correctly, I was pronouncing it Rumination! Uh, that's described as correct, though. Um... I used these two songs in uh, part three categories behind the scenes. And. Okay. Did I click on that? No. Click. There you go. Okay. Uh, noble race, you can hear. Same melody. No! Ah, Molly's here! Okay, break for Molly.
Hey, Molly! Hello, Molly! You're on back of him again. <laughs> okay. Same theme. Okay. Hey, Molly. Okay. Electronica. Let's go to that. Uh, electronica. Uh, cut. Cut. Editor. Cut. Actually, the editor didn't cut. Uh, it's a clip. That uh, separate video clip. I like. I stopped the recording. Okay, listen. That do 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 is um, what I want you to keep in mind. Overriding concern. Look at that. Under big that might be public domain recording I guess at the beginning of the year. Public domain. Low battery. Whoops. It's still going. Oh <sighs> well, you can hear. Uh -huh, okay. Well if you put it on camera, maybe it'll my finger uh, my finger can't. Okay, that finger can. Damn. Unnerving public domain recording may be a see where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, speaking of overriding concern, it seems that all songs with the public domain recording also have an unnerving feel assigned to it. Port Horizon, overriding concern, the second coming, unjagong mix. That's all I can find. Side used this in. Okay, the radio sounds unnerving. And then he parodied this. My sword side sorting algor algorithms. Okay, I don't know what happened with my body just there. All right, what's next? Uh, overriding concern you just heard before Port Horizon. Uh, the second coming. My Odd Week. All three versions, like there's an instrumental version and, and then a version without the percussion. Public Domain from LibriVox. Public Domain from Also, uh, this, this version has the same feel, eerie, mysterious, and nerve. Ring. Instrumental, no voice. But then there's a version, epic and uplifting as it feels, without the drum kit. So is, does the drum kit, or maybe the voice is also, um, they make it eerie, mysterious, and unnerving, and uh, blocks out the epic and uplifting? Feel of it, nah. Strange. Well, not strange. Um, this is not not where the uh, the download starts, but it's a sh but it's a short song, and most of the other songs, even really long songs like uh, over thirty minutes. Uh, uh, I have the full song in the preview. Uh, wait, wait. Um, let's look at the song titles. Song titles include, wait, ten. The song titles include Chase, The Chase, 
Zombie Chase, Pharaoh Chase, Dub Pharaoh, Dub Eastern, Sunday Dub, Chase Pulse, Chase Pulse Faster, Pulse, Touching Moments 1, Pulse. Okay, what do they all sound like? Uh, Chase. The Chase. We have the cursor. We have to... Okay, there's the cursor. Feature on Windows. I uh, press control and can see it. I used that one seven, eight times. The app. Spoiler alert. I'm going to use this for an upcoming video. Uh huh. Zombie Chase. But it's also Zombie Hoodoo. Uh, same theme. Same kind of theme. I wonder if Zombie Hoodoo is. Feral Chase. Okay, I'm gonna cut here. Zombie Chase, what does Zombie Hoodoo sound like? Look at this, skip ahead. That's just because. No, you can't. Okay. The back. Capado, what? <laughs> why, why? African. That's the uh, name for Final Cade. Is that at the end there? Okay, let's see, Dub Feral, and then what we got here from the Feral, like Feral Chase. This also kind of sounds identical to Dub Eastern, but it's like same feels, but Eastern also has a mystical. Huh. It's like some kind of orb skin or something in there that sounds different. Different than that. Oh no, wait. Okay, that sounds different. Uh, let's see. Dub Sunday. Sunday dub. Sunday. Actually, today's Sunday. Today's Sunday. Can you see sun there? Let's use the light. Okay. The dub for today. Uh, okay, chase pulse. And then chase pulse faster. Okay. Oh, so it's Celtic impulse. Celtic or Celtic? Celtic, Celtic impulse. And then there are multiple touching moments. That one's pulse. There's uh, five, I think, five of them. Another like circle and melody, and, and some others. And then there's pulse, which Greater Comic Attribution, which is also on FreePD.com. So are some of these songs on Competech. <sighs> Whoa. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. That's another oddity that's not on here, but, um, um, let's just use text. of Chase Pulse and Chase Pulse Faster, the instruments of them don't match with the descriptions of them. The description of the faster version that says that the, the, there's more percussion, but percussion isn't listed in the instruments, so why doesn't the original version? Okay, I talk fast. Um, spoke fast. Okay. Chase Pulse, since percussion. Chase Pulse Faster, since same as Shuffle with added Percussion and a quicker pace. Yeah, that's a quicker pace. You can hear more percussion, but not listed. But then, uh, the more percussion, that uh, then but then there's percussion. But that's more. But then it. Let's move on. Speaking of instruments, what instruments are in east of Tunisia, which might be a typo and should have been Tunisia? Okay. East of Tunisia, instruments. Percussion, I'm not sure what else. <laughs> nah, I laughed the first time I saw that. Okay. Going to YouTube for this next one. Speaking of a typo in the title of the world song, Vedadara and Vedadara Chill Mix probably should have been Vedadara and Vedadara Chill Mix. More recently, he created a song called Veradara, which sounded similar, but the title was shortly changed to Endor, as somebody pointed out the similarity in the name. He changed it on Incompetech and in the YouTube video via an annotation. Now's a good time for a Pepperidge Farm Remembers meme. But he didn't change the title of the video. You can change the title of a YouTube video after you upload it. There's Ved. Okay. Ved da Dora. Don't like that. Use the chew mix. And then indoor was originally called Vedadara. Indo indoor. And that's in it's similar. Okay, that's good. To the YouTube. Also subscribe to Kevin McLeod, youtube.com slash KM music. This is a, uh, his official YouTube channel. Um, what's a search? Um, what am I looking for? Indoor. No. Uh, put bad maybe. Huh. Da da ra. And there's the invitation indoor, and then you change the web to uh, Incoptic you saw. The uh, title in Pack Valium. Subscribe to Green Rhino Videos. Uh, you still have the correct title of the video. Nine months ago in the video, that's uh, about almost. Uh, more, more than 12 months ago. 12 months in a few days. Um, 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 um. Raise your hand if you like polka. Polka, polka. L is the L sign. Mm, maybe the is silent. Polka. 
Raise your hand if you like polka. I don't see anybody raising your hand. Well, too bad you're going to hear polka unless you skip ahead. All polka songs. And also, maybe it's folk, not folk. All polka songs have the word polka in the title, except for the one that technically isn't a polka. Being mom Bavaria. Uh, okay, there's any length, any genre. No, polka genre. Any tempo, and then. And then none of these like this to be any of them. Look at. Okay, polka is like. <laughs> Rhythm wise, let's listen. Ultra polka. Pixel peaker polka faster. And then, is that too fast for you? The slower version. Okay, but then let's look. Minna Bavaria. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, not that technical polka. But then polka is not in the title, but the other, as you can see, there is polka in the title. Okay, you don't like polka? Or whatever. Let's stop now. Apocalypse 2 exits. But there is no Apocalypse 1. Probably Digital and Gritty, it is Apocalypse. Apocalypse 2 is no other Apocalypse. If you think of a horror song, do you think of it being humorous? Well, actually, 16. There is one humorous horror song Return of Lazarus. I'm not using the title, I'm going to. Let's see, Electronica. That has every feel. If you. Uh, it's, for example, classical. There's no grooving classical song, so grooving's disabled, but let's go over here. Uh, horror feels. Humorous is not disabled. Return of Lazarus. Humorous horror. Okay. No, I just, I guess, kind of humorous. I don't know. Any songs in the medium electronic collection have an aggressive driving and or intense feel, while one song in the hard electronic collection has a calming and relaxed feel. The genre of the song in the latter collection is rock. Uh, medium electronic. And then you can see uh, some of them are aggressive and dry or driving the lift is driving yeah. vicious 
bait. Uh, speaking skip ahead to the next one here. Speaking of aggressive and medium electronic, Lewis and Dick Cole applies to that. And it came out with vicious, which doesn't have an aggressive feel. Although the word vicious is synonymous with the word aggressive. Hmm. Vicious. Just bright, bouncy, grooving, but not aggressive. And then Lewis and Dick Cole similar. But it's aggressive and dark. You can look at this clutch on yourself and um, hard electronic. <laughs> to show you the, that's harder. I think that's harder. What is this noise? It's been blown away. Okay, um, broken reality. Rock. Calming, relaxed. I want to try something. Um, aggressive and wait. Okay. Aggressive and relaxed are opposites. Then there are no songs both. Humorous and somber are opposites. Unnerving and uplifting are opposites. But there are two songs for each of those pairs and and they are all soundtrack. Let's see that. Yes, I click aggressive and there's no relaxed. Because uh, no, there's no such thing and it it's uh, kind of impossible. And then same other way. Okay, but then a uh, humorous and somber. Those are opposites. And they're two soundtracks. Okay. Bouncy, dark, humorous, mysterious, somber. And then Harlequin. Humorous and somber are the only feels. The Cloud of Granny is a little more humorous, and Harley Quinn is a little more somber. Okay, let's look at unnerving and uplifting. Soundtrack, soundtrack. Arcadia. Not, I think I've pronounced it Arcadia before, but, it's not, but actually I think it's Arcadia. It's like a lot of choir, it's uplifting, but also kind of a, an unnerving feel. And then Lone Harvest is more like the beginning part's unnerving, and then the ending part's uplifting. So Arcadia's like unnerving and uplifting together, and then Lone Harvest starts unnerving and ends uplifting. This is uplifting. Lovely. Lastly, my last incompetent oddity I have one here is the oddities collection. Is an oddity on incompetent. Uh, Back to. Also check out my oddities playlist, which this video is in. Yeah, yeah, everything else. Yeah, I do typically everything else.
<laughs> My Odd Week uses most of these songs. Graveyard Shift didn't exist then. And I don't think Port Rising did. Yeah, listen to music to see light. Ooh, unclassifiable. This almost makes a mockery of other classifiable things. The wood block player is solid. Yeah. The tambourine player? Not so much. Tin whistle player is delightful. Okay, so, um, uh, some other songs like Gypsy Shoegazer, for example, or, or Mirage, or Simon Says Don't. Or, or any unclassifiable song that's not in RDs, or any unclassifiable song at all in RDs or not. What, whatever. They're, uh, they can't be classified as others. Or can they? Uh, it's another document link in the description. Um, but music to you likes like, oh, oh, you think you're unclassifiable? What is it to me? Yeah. Is it to me? I'm... I don't know. You, now you others sound so unclassifiable now. <laughs> okay, if you are smart, click the like button, and if you are a genius, click the subscribe button, and you will see me next time. Editor, don't forget this time the five seconds of black, and then um. Something afterwards, okay? You remember. What are you waiting for, editor? Oh, you're waiting for me to stop the. Oh. Why didn't I think of that before? EDM detection mode. What does the EDM stand for? EDM detection mode. What does the EDM stand for? EDM detection mode. What does the EDM stand for?